The search for extraterrestrial life is one of humanity's most profound quests. For centuries, we've gazed up at the stars, wondering if we're alone in the universe. While we've yet to find definitive proof of life beyond Earth, two moons in our solar system, Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, and Titan, Saturn's largest moon, have become frontrunners in the race to answer this question. These icy worlds, far from the warmth of the sun, hold clues that might reveal whether life exists beyond our pale blue dot. But what exactly are these moons hiding beneath their frozen surfaces, and what makes them so promising? Europa, the ice-covered world beneath the surface. In March 1979, NASA's Voyager probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, made a groundbreaking discovery while flying past Europa. Orbiting Jupiter at a distance of 118,000 miles from the moon's surface, Voyager 2 captured stunning images of Europa and gathered data that hinted at a remarkable possibility, a subsurface ocean beneath the icy shell of the moon. Fast forward a few decades, and Europa has become one of the most intriguing targets in the search for alien life. By the late 1990s, the Galileo spacecraft while orbiting Jupiter gathered more data from Europa. The findings confirmed that Europa's ice shell is not just a solid block, but a dynamic layer, under which lies an ocean of liquid water. This discovery is vital for astrobiology since liquid water is considered the primary ingredient for life as we know it. A moon full of mysteries. Europa is a small moon, about 90% the size of Earth's moon, and is covered in a thick, cracked ice sheet. Temperatures on the surface drop to a chilling minus 50 degrees Celsius, and the moon is bombarded by intense radiation from Jupiter. Yet, despite these extreme conditions, Europa has become one of the most promising places to search for extraterrestrial life. One of the first intriguing signs of activity on Europa came from the Galileo spacecraft in 1997. As it passed just 125 miles above Europa's surface, it detected a bizarre phenomenon, water vapor eruptions. This was a critical clue, suggesting that Europa's icy shell may not be a solid block after all. These eruptions, geysers, spew water vapor high above the surface, indicating that beneath the ice there might be liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life. In 2013, the Hubble Space Telescope added more weight to this theory. It observed evidence of geysers which scientists believe could shoot water as high as 200 miles into space. If these plumes contain life, even the most basic forms, we might one day collect evidence of it in the dust and gas spewed by these geysers. But there's more. Scientists recently discovered that Europa's icy crust is in constant motion. It speeds up and slows down, unlike the rotation of its core. This suggests that Europa's internal structure is far more complex than we once thought. And this movement is powered by Jupiter's gravitational pull. Tidal forces from the gas giant might help keep the subsurface ocean of Europa in a liquid state providing the stable conditions needed for life to develop. The case for life on Europa. What makes scientists so sure that Europa could harbor life? The most important reason is water. Scientists estimate that Europa's subglacial ocean may be as deep as 60 miles, containing twice the volume of water found in all of Earth's oceans combined. In addition to water, Europa has chemical ingredients like carbon dioxide, methane, and hydrogen peroxide, all essential building blocks for life. Even more compelling, the discovery of hydrogen ions and oxygen produced by the radiation particles bombarding Europa's surface further suggests that life could thrive in the ocean below. Europa's ocean could have been isolated for billions of years, offering a stable environment for the emergence and evolution of life. It's also possible that volcanic activity beneath the ice could provide the necessary energy for life, similar to the deep sea vents on Earth, where microorganisms thrive in complete darkness. The prospect of discovering primitive life forms such as bacteria seems promising, but some scientists are optimistic about the potential for more complex, multicellular organisms. The mission to uncover Europa's secrets. 
To explore these possibilities further, NASA launched the Europa Clipper mission in 2024, the most ambitious planetary exploration mission in history. This $5.2 billion mission is the largest and most advanced spacecraft NASA has ever designed for planetary exploration. Europa Clipper is set to travel 1.8 billion miles to Jupiter and Europa, where it will conduct detailed studies of the Moon's surface and its subsurface ocean. The spacecraft is equipped with nine scientific instruments, including high-powered cameras, a radar system to penetrate the ice, and an infrared imaging system to search for warmer areas where liquid water may be close to the surface. The spacecraft will make 49 flybys of Europa over a period of four years, studying its geology, measuring the ice shell's thickness, and investigating its chemical composition. One of the key goals of the mission is to determine if the ocean beneath Europa's ice is suitable for life. And while scientists remain cautiously optimistic, Europa Clipper might just uncover the clues that will lead to the discovery of extraterrestrial life. Or at the very least, signs that life could have once existed. Titan, a world that could be like Earth, but different. While Europa is a frontrunner in the search for life, Titan, Saturn's largest moon, has its own set of captivating features that make it an equally intriguing candidate. Titan is the second largest moon in the solar system, even bigger than Mercury. It's an alien world where rivers and seas of liquid methane and ethane flow, where winds whip through the air and where thick, hazy clouds create an orange glow on the surface. The most fascinating aspect of Titan, however, is its atmosphere. Unlike Europa, Titan is enveloped in a thick nitrogen-methane atmosphere that can be safely navigated without a pressure suit. Provided the temperature wasn't minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, Titan's surface conditions are cold enough to freeze anything resembling life as we know it. However, Titan's thick atmosphere and methane-rich lakes may harbor the potential for life, albeit very different from life on Earth. Titan's lakes are full of liquid methane, and scientists speculate that life here could be based on methane instead of water. While that sounds wild, it opens up the possibility for life forms that don't rely on water at all. For example, some researchers have proposed that methane-based life could thrive in the frigid conditions of Titan, with cell membranes made from a unique compound called acrylonitrile. This discovery would not only expand our search for life, but might also change how we think about what constitutes life. Titan's alien weather. Titan is home to some truly alien weather patterns. Titan's weather is driven by methane and nitrogen instead of water and oxygen, and it has seasons, windstorms, and even methane rain. The Cassini spacecraft observed vast lakes on Titan's surface, and the weather systems could create waves that are seven times taller than those on Earth. Titan's weak gravity makes the waves move more slowly, creating a completely different kind of ocean than we're familiar with. The idea that Titan could harbor life sounds like science fiction, but researchers are actively investigating these possibilities for example, some scientists believe that life on Titan could exist deep in the Moon's subsurface oceans, similar to the hydrothermal vents on Earth. The mystery of Titan's unique chemistry, combined with its potential for harboring life, makes it a compelling object of study for astrobiologists. NASA's Dragonfly NASA is not stopping at Europa or Titan. In 2027, it plans to launch the Dragonfly mission a robotic helicopter that will explore Titan's surface, searching for water or hydrocarbon biosignatures that could indicate life. The Dragonfly spacecraft will help scientists understand whether Titan's subsurface ocean could be habitable and whether the building blocks for life are present on this frigid moon. If Dragonfly finds evidence of life, it could change everything we know about the potential for life beyond Earth. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the mysteries of Europa and Titan, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss out on exciting space exploration content. Have any thoughts on the potential for life on these moons? Drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear your theories. Stay tuned for more thrilling discoveries in the universe. Until next time, keep exploring the stars with us.